Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough starting vision 6-1 right now when the screen turns black and comes back with a picture once again oh there we go so beautiful thank you Pamela you're very welcome I'm happy to do anything I can to help now really this place is excellent <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be fine. We've got loads upon loads of lives to burn. <laughs> huh? oh, Indeed we do. And this is how it starts. This level is a very, very long level, but as I just said, it is also very, very beautiful. <sighs> so calm, so serene. It's also a pretty tricky level too. You'll notice that there's these statues here that are blocking certain things. Well, I'll take care of those as we go. They're the main gimmick of this level. Um, I don't remember which path I'm supposed to take from here though. I'm gonna try, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I, I think I have to unlock stuff on the, that outside path by going through here first, I think, so I'm gonna, yeah, do that dealio and hope for the best. And ride him, cowboy, yeehaw! Actually, this is not a very vigorous ride at all. <laughs> I, I'm making, I'm, I mean, I'm over-exaggerating the ride, clearly. Um, over in this spot, what you wanna do is jump onto one of those and grab an enemy and grab another enemy to kill an enemy off of the poop and uh, 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 I did that poorly. <laughs> you have to work your way over there one enemy at a time like that and leap of faith! No problem. <laughs> it's not really that hard to do, you just gotta be a little patient for that. Um, what do I... oh there's another one. Another trapped villager! Oh, that was terrible. What, what? Oh, I have, to, I have to get on top of the pooper. Let's get up here. There we go. Now, here's the crystal thingy that I was looking for to break apart the... Well, not break apart, to transform the other statues into a pile of dust. Or at least that's what it seems to be. It's like a pile of dust. See how it's like you are inside of it or something like that? That's, yeah. Now, what you want to do is go over to the outside path. I... I think, <laughs> um, because there should be another pile of crystal dust from one of the paths that I unlocked. Yeah, right here. See the pink? Right here. Go in this door. And you want to do this for the rest of the level, basically. It's all color coding, and you want to do everything as you go so you don't miss anything. My god, this is beautiful! This is really, really excellent graphics here. So very artistic. Look at that reflection. Awesome! Okay. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a fan of... Well, I don't mind um, realistic graphics, but I would prefer, um, you know, artistic over realistic because artistic, as I said, will always look good over realistic graphics as opposed to the realistic ones eventually looking outdated. This green statue here, don't even worry about that. We're actually going to be meeting up at that exact place on another path. So don't even worry about having to backtrack to that once you get the green crystal. Or I should say break the green crystal. And use enemies as a guard here so you aren't knocked off by these little ghosts. This is probably like one of the few times in the game where the ghosts actually pose a problem because you are trying to dodge them on a small moving platform and they can knock you off into the abyss. So the uh, one just appeared right where the right where the one that I had in hand was. I should say, in head. Oh ho, oh ho, oh, that was a terrible pun. <laughs> and there's the blue crystal, done, and moving on. Uh, don't you shoot spiky things? Yes, <laughs> yes you do. I, I just jumped down there at the worst possible time. Alright, we're looking for some blue. 
I believe the yeah the yellow one still blocking it. Yellow orange one. Um, this way, looking for here we go. And keep in mind that there's the yellow orange one up above this place. Our objective is to get up there later, by the way, which you'll see as I go. But just remember that there is a yellow one up above this door because we're gonna have to come back down this path later. As a matter of fact, we're gonna have to go up to that door once I pop it. So just keep it in mind, as I said. Jesus, that's beautiful. <laughs> Never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> like, you know, if you're one of those people who like the realistic graphics only. Alright. Carefully get yourself through. Whoa! I shouldn't have done that. I should have thrown it the other way because I got caught in the explosion. Well, I'm not too far back from where I was, so I'm just going to rush through it uh, without dying. <laughs> And I'm nearly there already, wow. Actually, you know what I could do? I could do this. Because that one, I noticed, was stuck right at the corner there. For whatever reason. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's a gold heart if you want that. If you, I should say if you need that to recover. Hey! <laughs> to recover three health. Um, tricky jump! Oh, poopers. This is not going to go well. Oh, poopers! Yeah, I didn't see that going well. Um... Oh, dang it, all the way back here. This wow. is pure blasphemy. <laughs> Maybe what I should have done was like thrown it, or no, I couldn't have thrown it because I couldn't have done the, the jump then. I forgot how I got past that befo before, and I am doing terribly now <laughs> in this section. It's not really that hard of a level, but it's very technical, and I should be playing technical to match it. But I'm not, I'm rushing through things, because I'm getting to be Mr. Impatient. <laughs> um, okay, now, what do I do about you? Can I, can I like do a jump to blast him? Or, oh, I'll, I know. Let this guy explode in midair above the other guy. Okay, I completely forgot about that. I was a little bit early there, okay. Try it again. Wait for the beep. Food's done! Oh dang it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna be able to jump on that platform, obviously, unless I get rid of the piggy. Oh, that was right up above it and it didn't take care of it. That that actually might be a maybe I didn't do it this way before. Oh that works! <laughs> Yeah, that, that works for me, I think. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not going to get blasted off the platform. I refuse. Not after this. I've come this far. Wait, what do I do about... Oh, I can do this. And I hope another one won't spawn there. I'm praying that one won't spawn there. Okay. Alright, progress! Biggie attack! Did I get them all? Did I get them? There's one there. And there's a... Oh, I remember this. You just do that to blast the green crystal and voila! Checkpoint! Thought I was gonna miss that checkpoint, didn't you? Didn't you? Because I walked past it. Wow, they're really doing a good job of guarding that thing. And by doing a good job, I mean not really at all. <laughs> and see what I mean about this pathway being the... That we would cross over again where that green statue was? Yep, there we are. Alright, looking good so far, and looks like we have to go through this section again. But that's okay, I already had a bunch of repeats in this episode already, so... <laughs> Just a part of the game. And it, those repeats really didn't take all that long to get back to, you know, the spot that I kept dying on. <clears throat> Not really that big of a deal. Unless you're ridiculously impatient for whatever reason. <laughs> like me being Mr. Impatient. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. Now we're back onto the main path, and now I'll be able to go into the green door once I get past it. He got me again, dang it! <laughs> that critter is the bane of my existence, anyway. Um, looking for 
Ye all green. You can go on top of these things, by the way, in case you didn't notice that. Here we go! And hearts. If you need them, I need them. Kind of. <laughs> um, checkpoint fairy for the win! Bonus time! I'm going to try and get them all. Yeah. I don't know why I tried to get them all since I'm not going for a crystal bonus thing of sorts, but hey, what the heck. Oh, these platforms right here, in case you didn't notice, they disappear after a while you stand on them for a second and then they come back. You'll have to deal with them to get two things in this area, so prepare to get used to the rhythm of jumping on top of these things. Like, I'm going to offset the timing by floating in midair like that. There we go. It's not that hard to do, you just gotta stay in the air for a little while. And good. Yellow one is taken care of. Checkpoint! Lots of ghosts! No, 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 no! Eh. Oh! <laughs> I thought I was gonna get hit there. Uh, why did I even bother with that fairy? I don't know, to be honest. Um, eh, eh, eh. I think that was as much of the bonus you could possibly get there. <laughs> There wasn't any more crystals along that path. Okay, so now that the yellow one is destroyed, remember the door that I said to remember the yellow statue that was on top of? Go to that one and then follow the yellow path upwards. I think. <laughs> I really hope I'm not missing anything. Alright. <sighs> Getting close to the end. As I told you, this is a pretty long stage, but pretty fun, I have to say. Pretty... I wonder what's inside that lava egg. It certainly looks like a lava egg, doesn't it? But it's actually not. You'll see. Break that crystal, it opens this up. Vision clear! Told you we were close to the end. Sure, I'll save the game, why not? Well, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part. We do. 6-2.